Hey guys, Cam here from today's iPhone.com with yet another in our series of iOS 7 previews and today I want to focus on a couple of really interesting interface choices by Apple. Now obviously we've had Notification Center in the past, it was introduced in iOS 5 and in some ways it was kind of better than what we had before that but in some ways it, it kind of just tended for me at least to get really messy and full of notifications and then obviously what would happen is that you would forget that you'd got notifications in your notification drawer up there and they would sit there for weeks or months even sometimes because you'd access them from the lock screen or you'd access them just directly from going into an app and they would just sit in your notification center drawer and that was quite annoying but in the end what would happen is that actually with notification center in iOS 6 and iOS 5 you not only had notifications you had weather and stocks and tap to post and tap to tweet uh, on Facebook and Twitter and it just had everything in one really big messy drawer. Now, Notification Center on iOS 7 is much, much more kind of focused, I guess, more organized. Um, if you start off on the left-hand side here, you've, you'll see you've got three tabs across the top here. You've got Today, All, and Miss. Now, Today is possibly my favorite part of it. It essentially gives you a rundown as to what's gonna happen today, what the weather's like, obviously what the date is, and what will normally happen is that you'll have obviously you've got your date here and then next will be your weather and it'll just give you a quick summary sentence as to what the weather is in your local location um, and underneath that normally it will tell you what your next calendar appointment is for today now my my last one of the day is actually already been so that's not showing up on here but if you look down here you'll see you've got a few hours actually broken down on your calendar to show any events that you may have for the day then you've got your stocks uh, and then at the bottom is just a little snapshot of what's happening tomorrow. I've got two events tomorrow and the first one starting at 11 o'clock. And that's all I need to know. It's fantastic. User interface is really nice. I mean, you'll notice that just scrolling it is really, really fast, really smooth. The smoothness and the, the speed of actually scrolling through this kind of adds to the whole glassy effect of, of the actual user interface as well. Now, if we go into all here, you'll notice that all my notifications are in here. Um, now you'll see I've got a reminder for, for Wonderlist which I can either select or just cancel using the cross at the top there, I think. Yeah, clear. And you'll see all the rest as normal but because it's a lot cleaner and it's a lot smoother, it's a lot simpler and also much crisper, there's no grey textures, there's no there's no clutter really, it's just so much nicer to use um, and it doesn't feel anywhere near as messy as it used to and obviously one thing you'll notice in your notifications here is that it tells you when apps have updated because obviously now in iOS 7 apps update automatically in the background um, and then in the right hand column are all the ones that I've missed which happen to be none so that's completely empty which again is a nice touch. Now one thing that I really liked about Notification Center is also, you can now access it in the lock screen. You don't have to unlock your phone. You can just swipe down from your lock screen and you've got access to everything in there so you don't have to go into your phone and go through that extra step of unlocking your phone. And another thing that's completely, I guess it's not necessarily, but it's something that I really liked was Apple's attention to detail when it came to dropping it down. Now you notice, depending on how fast you scroll your finger down, that's how fast it comes down. But what's even better is if I throw it down you'll see that it bounces off the bottom. Now if I throw it down slowly, it bounces really low, but if I throw it down really hard, it bounces high. So they've added this kind of physics engine in there for what seems to be no purpose other than to look cool, which I really, really like. Um, it's not necessary, but it's really nice. Now, I wanted to go on to another feature which is very similar, very similar to Activate as well. It's called Control Center, which is at the bottom. You slide it up from the top and instead of having the dark glass. The control center has a completely white frosty glass. It's much clearer, crystal crystal clear. And what it does, it actually takes on the color of your background because it's translucent. Whatever color your background is, is the color that control center takes on. Obviously it makes it a lot more blurry and frosted. But what you'll see is that you've got a few rows here and all the icons are either black or white. Um, if they're inactive, then they're black and you'll see it's just really simple, crisp black lines, very high contrast, very, very simple indeed. The top one is made up of five really easy to use quick access toggles for switching off services 
that we actually need to access all the time. Uh, obviously the one on the left, that's airplane mode where you switch off everything. Uh, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, which I can switch off. Um, you've got do not disturb and also orientation lock, all very useful. Perhaps one of the ones I wasn't expecting to get on there at all, which is on there is the screen brightness. Whereas before you had to go into settings, then brightness and wallpaper, and then uh, adjust your brightness. You can actually do it straight from control center. It's very, very handy. You've got your music controls here. You can play and skip and fast forward and turn the volume up and down. You can access your airplay menu and airdrop. And what I really, really liked was actually these icons in the bottom. There are four apps here, which perhaps aren't the ones that I would use most of the time, but in a pinch when you need to access things really quickly, they are the ones that you want to think about really because you've got a flashlight to switch your torch on, uh, it switches your LED on at the back, you can see it's on my hand there, if I switch it off, it's no longer there. Really, really handy feature if you get up in the middle of the night and you just want to have a quick torch, open it up, flick up the control center and switch on flashlight. Also, how often do you want to time something and you haven't got a clock to hand and you don't want to have to go digging through the clock feature, you hit that and it goes straight to timer and you can set your timer. Now, also one of the most useful things on here is the calculator. It lets you do a quick sum. Again, one of the ones that you need to use just at a moment's notice is a calculator. And then you've got camera, obviously, is something that you want to, you don't want to miss a shot that's going to be really awesome of your kid flying or hopping for the first time or whatever. Um, they're really, really well thought through and they could easily have made these third party applicable, but they decided to go with the four apps that you're going to most want to use really, really quickly in a pinch, in a hurry. I think that's really, really well done. And that's those. That's Notification Center and Control Center. Now, one thing you'll notice that isn't in Notification Center anymore is tap to post and tap to tweet. And I guess is because not many people use them or something. I, I know I certainly didn't. It was convenient for a few things, but I can't say I, I will miss it, but it is obviously a notable feature that you're gonna notice isn't there. But anyway, that's Control Center and Notification Center. If you wanna ask me any questions about those, please feel free. I'm at TAP underscore Cam, and I will see you again.